Welcome back to What Are Nibs for General Disturbance. This is a T-49, it's a Tier 9 American light tank. It's located on the northwest spawn of Sand River Encounter, and it's under the command of the base man from hell. Yes, he's riding again this time in the American light tank, but this is not the 152mm uh, rocket launcher, this is the 90mm gun. It's got standard APCR, and does 240 alpha with penetration of 212 and that goes up to 250 if you use the heat rounds now he's only loaded APCR and heat no HE on this occasion well seeing as this is an encounter battle it's really all about the cap but also about spotting the enemy as, as much as you can to uh, allow your teammates to get some shots on them but he's found some straight off and it looks to me like he's headed for the ramp so he can try and get shots on enemy who are dispersing towards the cap area. And he's gone to the bushes. Now he went up on that rock there, which is not a great place to be, but there are some nice convenient spots here where you can actually... Oh, he actually cheekily put around there into the T-54 lightweight, but he was seen. There's no RT in this game, so he's not going to get an unfortunate HE present sent by airmail so we can actually use these bushes to good effect and there doesn't appear to be any enemy in the south at all they're all fighting out in the north at the moment some headed down through the pass always oh, spotted somebody progetto progetto 65 that's the tier 10 spaghetto just for the top of the turret and he gets around in Now remember, these rounds are only 240, so that was a high roll. Trying for the top of the turret, the T-54 lightweight didn't get it. Ah, and now some fairly heavy duty tanks turning up to his south. 705A, Patton. T-100LT, which is his opposite number, but basically a tier 10 light. No wheel vehicles. There aren't any in the enemy team. But you've got to watch out for that T-100. And he has been seen, so must pull back because some of these guys have much better guns than he does. And he doesn't really want to get splatted. But this position is actually quite useful for the moment. Just got to watch out for that T-100 LT. No, he hasn't got the gun elevation, really, to get a shot on the T-100. But he is a one-shot. If only he pulls out enough, he will get a kill off that guy. Got to watch out for that pattern as well. If he gets seen, the pattern from the right from the back of the map can put around through him because he's quite up high overlook, on the bank overlooking the river. T-100 is out in the open. He's out in the open. He's behind the buildings, but... Oh, didn't penetrate. That was unfair. Reload time, five seconds. Can he get around into that T-100 to finish him off? It's worth going for it. Even if you have to spend a few rounds to do it. Yes! Gets it this time. And that's an important kill. Unfortunately, we've got a Doom Turtle behind us, uh, below us, rather, and that pattern did see us. And I think he still sees us at the moment. Maybe not now. Go for the top of the turret. Didn't get it in. Gotta watch out, that Doom Turtle, he's trying to come behind the Type 5 Heavy. Uh, he needs to be careful. Is he going to try and get in behind the, the Doom Turtle and just drill his ass? That's it, track him, hold him there, track him, and just then fill his, uh, his rear with lead. That's it, keep going. It's not steel actually, not lead, but yeah composition of shells just stay behind him there's nothing he can do and he fired around in there with the heat round and the guy goes down to the e3 not to the type 5 that's an important kill because that was a tier 9 tank destroyer this is a tier 10 game but the um yeah the the doom turtle can be a bit of a nuisance okay back up to his bushes We're doing well with three tanks up on the enemy. He's looking to try and get shots into those guys. 705 is going to be a bit difficult to pen, even with his APCR. 
or even with his heat for that matter. There's a few enemy tanks in that ridge line overlooking their spawn area or near their spawn area. Can we get shots on the side of the Chokin 705? Maybe. Nope, didn't get through. I think he needs the heat. He's loading heat. Can he shoot between those rocks? Or oh, not while the guy's looking at you, but sideways on? Didn't get through. Yeah, I thought he might have trouble, but... Now, let's see what he can do with that ST1 and the other guys who are actually are sitting up that line. There's a leopard up there somewhere. Oh, he's got the side of the ST1. Fires one in, but doesn't know if he did any damage. He was seen, though, so he'll have to be careful. These guys could decide to plant a round into him. These are the only guys really to the south of him at the moment. The pattern, though, surprisingly, is a one-shot. In fact, I think he's thirsty for a kill. Oh, he sees the strith. Easy kill on... Easy shot on that one. Not an easy kill. And he doesn't get that one in. Now, can he get the guy and track him and hold him in place? He's tracked him. Good, he tracked him. Now he can go for the kill shot. Yes! Second kill. And he goes past the wreck of the T-100. The first kill. Now they've um, they've got rid of the pattern. Obviously, he was a fairly easy kill, and now he's in the cap. But he's not going to stay here for too long. I suspect that what he's going to do now is he's going to harass this 705. And he's still loaded with the APCR. Whoa! And there goes the gorilla. Unfortunately, the gorilla's made a bit of a boo boo. He didn't get his shots on target. But uh, baseman's going to try and harass this 705. And he got the kill as well, would you believe it? He kill stealed, and that wins the game because there's no other enemy tanks alive. That gorilla must feel a bit, uh, well, not silly, but he was bested by a T-49. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Second class tanker for the base man from hell and T-49. He got a spotter badge for spotting at least a thousand hit points of damage. Five for effect for doing more damage than the hit points of his own vehicle. And he also got an Orlix medal. Yes, he took out two tanks which were one tier a high, higher than him. And those were the T-100LT and, of course, the 705. Let's have a look at the uh, team score. Oh, by the way, win 8 from that one was 4247, which is Super Unicum standard. So let's have a look at team scores. Well, not didn't get the highest damage in the game. That went to the T110E3, the guy who killed the uh, um, the Doom Turtle. He got 4,171 hit points of damage. And second place was the Object 430U with 3193. And after that, the Object 2684 on the enemy team with 3089. Baseman managed 1,910. He's using the anonymizer. That's why his name comes up like that. And when it came to kills, yes, he's actually top. He shares the top spot with the Pachetto 65 on the enemy team. Both got three kills. And then there's three tanks on his own team with two kills apiece. And when it came to base XP, yes, he's top on that one. He managed to get 998 base experience points, 936 to the AMX 13105, and 839 to the T54 lightweight. He fired 22 shots of 90mm ammunition. 14 direct hits, 9 penetrations, damage of 1,910 hit points, of which 694 were at more than 300 metres. He spotted 4 enemy vehicles, damaged 6 of the enemy, killed 3, and did 1,587 hit points of spotting assist. On a premium count, he earned 37,697 credits from that game, got 6,107 for Holdy Ops, and his total 43,804, but he did fire a fair amount of premium ammo, and he resupplied his consumables, and it means that he actually ended up with a small loss of 2,969 credits. He did get three bonds for getting the Orlix, which gives it an epic medal. And 1,497 XP for the game, times two for the first victory, and 2,994 experience points altogether. He says you don't need the derp to do well. Well, the 152mm rocket launcher is actually a lot of fun, the derp gun. But uh, the, the 90mm is a lot more reliable. Plus, of course, it's, it's one of those um, uh, guns which, of course, you can fire uh, faster 
than the uh, the big 152, but it just doesn't have the derp capability. You can't just sort of like drive up to somebody right behind them and just launch around right into their rear and see all of their hit points just disappear in one fell swoop. Uh, it would have been rather nice if he'd had the rocket launcher if he was sitting behind the T95, but obviously that would have meant he would have had to have stayed a little way away from the T95 when he fired, otherwise he would have got hit by his own splash when he fired. But uh, as it was, yes, he did provide the necessary harassment for that T95 to allow his teammates to get them. And of course, he sneaked the kill on that Object 705A <laughs> right out from under the gorilla's nose. He must have been fuming at losing that kill. But there you go. If you're not quick on the on the draw, you won't get the kill. And of course, the 90mm allowed the base man to get the kill. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel. Uh, we've got more of our Base Man from Hell feature coming up very shortly. I think he's got some more WYSI 131 games. Thanks for watching.